So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can leave the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected, and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Ricky Boy. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this Three. one. Three. Well, so much UFC history has taken place here in Abu Dhabi, and plenty more where that came from tonight as we return to the Etihad Arena. This place is beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the Superdome a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, outside of the color of the Superdome, it is not up to par with the Etihad Arena, but you make me take a shot at my own team. But yes, absolutely stunning venue, and the fights have been top-notch here. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Early connection with the left from the champ. Both fighters throwing heat now. And there's that jab. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, there it is. That's that one, that right hand. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. What a kick, that one landed. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said 
that they were going to point to the center of the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Nice jab. Just over three minutes to go. Nice shot there by the champ. And there he goes, wins another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is bringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Now another being thrown on both sides. Changes his stance. There's the single. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Push kick there to the body. Real quick leg kick. We'll work with that jab. Jab leg. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Nice leg kick. Back and forth we go. Check look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Right on the button. And again. Oh, a huge block there. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from the close. Useful strike there. The hook is clean. Counters with that inside leg kick. Under a minute to go. Oh, he just hurt. Lands a beautiful leg kick. All right, well, good news is he got them. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue. Here's a tissue. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Oh! Beautiful jab there by the champ. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Strong outside leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Keep moving. Protect the face. 
Missed with that right hand. All right, champ, now we're... Oh! He's in a lot of trouble now. The center line slips the punch. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from him. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken, like, a five-finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. Hey, so, I mean, like her. Imagine someone... Oh! oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. In the half guard. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he was a little... Oh! That'll do it! Oh! Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world.